What's up, YouTube? What's up, my subs? Do you know every now and then in history something amazing happens? Okay, the industrial age, um, electronics, computers, something changes in our history where new things happen, new things are invented. Well, virtual reality VR has been, uh, been basically being experimented with for, for quite some time. NVIDIA just released their most amazing graphic card, which is due out, like I think it's May 21st, and then other graphic cards come after that. The most amazing video card that was meant for personal use was called the Titan, and it had a price tag of $1,000. And for years, this was considered the uh, cat's meow of video cards, basically. And basically, a new invention has come out. Um, I'll link, there's like eight or 10 videos. You can go watch it, it's NVIDIA's uh, link on everything about the video cards. But it blows the Titan out of the water now. It's actually taken a new step where it's faster, more powerful. There's a new king on the block basically with video cards that everybody's gonna be chasing and following. So virtual reality now becomes almost affordable for everybody within reach. You can get a video card for as low as $400. You can get um, virtual reality on your cell phone with a cardboard case that goes around it that goes on your head. So if you've got the proper processor and the proper computer, literally with these new video cards, you can, you can, you can be doing virtual reality. Everybody can. So what's going to come out of this? I mean, what direction is this going to go? This is brand new technology and it's cutting edge. Okay, already on Steam where a lot of people download games from, there's already something like, I don't know, 80, 100 different people writing games for virtual reality. So that's pretty impressive that it's taking this step. Pornography, porno, believe it or not, that's tapping into the virtual reality also. So, virtual reality is taking a lot of different directions. Now, any person that has a child that doesn't have a computer, you're basically condemning your child to, you know, lack of education. Your child needs certain tools when they're in school. And it needs to learn, and your child needs to learn how to use those tools. Well, virtual reality is going to get to the point, and I'm telling you right now, that you're going to need it for your children. But how can virtual reality actually benefit you or your children? They actually have virtual reality videos where you can actually go into the solar, solar system and actually stand right in front of the sun and see the, you know, how gigantic it is. And then turn around and actually see the planet Earth and see how small it is. You know, we can put numbers to it in a textbook. We could draw pictures. But when you can actually put yourself there, it's something you won't forget. How about getting in a canoe and canoeing down the Grand Canyon? What if you're in a wheelchair? What if you're disabled? And now you can literally sit in your chair you know, and canoe down the Grand Canyon and stop and then look around and be in awe of everything you see and not actually be there but be in the comfort of your own home. It's here. It's here now. And you should be planning to start using this new technology if you don't want to be left behind. You should be looking at your computers on um, what do I need to upgrade them. There's a, a thing on Steam that you can download and run it and find out if you, what you need to upgrade your computer. A lot of people just need a video card. A lot of people maybe need to upgrade their processor. You might be surprised at how cheap it is for you to finally get to running virtual reality. And like I said, you can run everything from a cell phone with a cardboard case around it to see virtual reality. Or you can go up, you know, to the high-end one, which is like $800. And I'll have the link in the bottom for that. There's other companies tapping into the virtual reality where they keep you stationary and, you know, kind of like a cage around you to keep you safe. It's blowing up like crazy in case you guys don't know. The gamers are going nuts, Okay. The gaming community, the gaming people are going crazy. They can't wait to get their hands on this stuff. It's brand new. Everything's coming quick and fast. 
the other communities are going to basically be racing to catch up. They're ahead of you guys. But everything from pornography to learning to people that are disabled to just giving you a whole new experience. But wait, they say, you know, high percentage of Americans are obese and also in other countries. Virtual reality, literally, you got to put a helmet on and you're literally ducking down, moving around, kind of like the old Wii, but except you're in the environment. You're there. Everything from playing the old Dungeons and Dragons when you had an actual shield and you blocked and you swung with the sword, you're literally doing all that now. So, they may have just invented, you know, exercise without even realizing it. Now, you can go spend up to $1,200 on those, you know, those walking uh, Stairmasters you climb up in the air that put a little computer in the front. Well, compared to that costing $1,200, you know, and then VR costing you three or 400 for a video card, I mean, geez, pretty amazing, isn't it? So I'm going to put some links in the bottom, and I really urge you to go check them out. Um, the top seven links in the bottom are the NVIDIA CEO talking about the product, new video cards. And he talks about how it took billions and billions and billions of dollars to, you know, hundreds and hundreds of engineers to develop these new cards. Just when you, when you hear him talk, it's just like, how does one man orchestrate and keep so many people on target? I, I find it just amazing. But the new product is going to be out, I believe, May 21st. I will be buying four cards for our computers here at home. And I will be buying the more high-end ones, which run at um, 700 apiece, I believe, to upgrade our systems. I will be picking up VR, so you guys will see some video on that. And some other gadgets with it. You're even starting to see uh, cameras that are coming out where they can record in 360 degrees. You can buy gadgets where you can hook up, you know, 27 GoPros that are all pointing different directions. And then there's a particular camera out there that shoots four, shoots four ways and it's 360 degrees and then you piece it all together. So literally you, you could make your own VR movies. And probably, I don't know, within the next three to five years you're going to see people doing that. YouTube's already can already do that. And there's already people doing it on YouTube, if you guys didn't know. So literally what's going to happen is when somebody takes you down for a campfire, you literally can put your goggles on and you can go down to that campfire with them and experience what they're experiencing. Now, sure, you're not really going to get burnt on a fire. You're not really going to feel the mosquito buzzing in your ear. But is that a bad thing? You could actually have somebody sitting down and starting a fire by rubbing two sticks together and actually learning how to do a lot of different things that people want to learn. Virtual reality. It's going to cover everything. Is it a technology that people should be afraid of? Is it a technology that people should embrace? Is it going to create jobs? You know, with jobs market disappearing and going out of country, is it going to be a job market that the USA citizens, you know, grab onto, or Canadians or whatever country you're in, grab onto and educate themselves with it? Or is it going to be the type of jobs that end up in China, Japan, and these other countries? Only time's going to tell. Are our colleges, or universities, or schools keeping up on what's going on with this stuff? Probably not. Probably not at all. And that's sad. It's almost like every school should have one person they pay to keep up on the technology and the things that are coming to inform everybody else within the school, so which in turn can inform the kids. Giving us the edge. All right, that's another video. But I'm going to have some links down at the bottom if you guys are interested and want to check this out. I found it really interesting. And uh, you may want to sub to NVIDIA and a few of these other guys and uh, check them out. And maybe just watch them and see where all this uh, virtual reality is going. Like I said, I'm going all crazy with it. Um, I'm building a brand new computer here, so it just makes more sense to uh, put the heavy-duty cards in it. My old computer... Um, we'll be going to my son. Um, I'll even record some of that build. He's actually going to do most of it. I'm just going to instruct and help him out with it. And uh, I'm actually going to build my wife a new computer too. 
hers is getting hers is like nine years old. It's time she gets a new one. But there you go. So let me know. What do you guys think of virtual reality? Do you think it's the future? Do you think it's a bunch of hype and then it'll leave and go away like the Wii did? Or do you think it's here to stay? And do you think your kids are going to actually benefit from it? Do you think they're actually going to be able to learn at an accelerated rate where they can actually be there compared to reading out of a book? Anyhow, let me know, guys. Catch you later.